Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D. As I said, I don't think you could have beat the weather with a stick. If nope, you had I don't one. think so. Not a big <laughs> so one, nice. even. No, it no. was just perfect. And yeah, I thought great. I'd hear a few more complaints about the heat, but everyone seems to be handling it very well. I think it's what you said. The humidity is is still is low, low yeah. and that just makes it so much yeah. bearable, it more bearable. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And we had such a rough winter that I think That's after right. all those ice storms we had, uh, we'll take the 80s with low humidity. 79 right now in Detroit, 72 in Hal, 73 in Pontiac. The other nice thing is that this time of year, even though we get the heat, it cools down at night so you can sleep better, especially if you don't have air conditioning. Let's talk about this Grand Prix forecast where tomorrow it will be hot once again downtown with highs in the upper 80s. It will feel more like it's in the 90s. There's a very isolated chance of an evening shower, but very isolated. Most of the weekend, most areas will be dry. Cooler for Sunday, though, with highs only in the low 80s. Well, I did some digging and went back the last 10 years to see how dry or how wet the Grand Prix has been. And believe it or not, seven out of the last 10 years, there has been at least some rain, not much, a trace last year and a trace the year before, but there's been some rain and rain is certainly something we could use, but not this weekend. The coldest Grand Prix was in 2015, but there were some complaints that day. It was 54 degrees and the warmest we would have come close to it this weekend. 87 set back in 2017. Rain chances for us, not much. Over the next seven days, a slight chance for Saturday and Monday, otherwise very, very dry. Clouds and radar forecast. I started this at one o'clock in the afternoon Saturday. Lots of sunshine, but in the evening we might get a stray shower, but most of the area stays dry. Then on Sunday at three o'clock as the race starts, we'll have partly cloudy skies. It will be dry on Sunday with highs in the low 80s. This frontal boundary here that comes down from the north on Monday at 7 a.m. brings with it the chance for an isolated shower, but that keyword there is isolated. What that front does though is cool us down. Talk briefly about tropical storm Arlene, the first of the season with a name. Winds are at 40 miles per hour. Arlene, though, is headed to western Cuba. It's not headed to the United States, just bringing some rain to parts of Florida. So our forecast here for tonight, 64 degrees, mainly clear skies, mild again, winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10. Then tomorrow, sunshine, the last day it'll be this hot with highs in the upper 80s. Future forecast Sunday will be dry. I mean, really great weather for the race. The wind should be calm. Temperatures are slightly lower than where they were, although it is still warmer Sunday than it was for the Indy 500, where it was only 76 degrees. So, uh, you know, even a few degrees for these drivers, it's hot on that track. So they're definitely athletes. Yeah.